I just find the papa pick me over time and we just run with it. This one here will be a keeper. This one's picked me the other day. So she's quite happy, I think. Uh, this is boss here. Boss loves pups. So we're up to a third generation working dog with our cartoon line. Every dog is a cartoon dog other than the Kelpie which is Pixie. Pix, Pix. She's the only outcross that we've got. Everything else goes back to this old soldier called Zach and Tess, their brother and sister. As far as sourcing working qualities in a working dog with our genetic side of things. It just comes back to finding the right dog for the right job. If you want a barking dog, you go and buy a barking dog. If you don't want a barking dog, you go and try and find one that's silent. Some dogs are super easy to train. Some are a lot tougher. Some are more natural on stock than others. I look at the tail as an indicator. The tails between their legs, they're intimidated, a bit scared, something's not right. And then if they're over their back, they're obviously threatened or not confident, barking. So we want flat tails, and then they're on the job, mine ticking along, thinking cows, cows, and more cows, and that's how I view it anyway. So that's all you ask for is, yeah, quiet cattle, smooth dogs, smooth cattle. Pixie. Sit. Pixie. Good girl. How to do? Sit. Pixie, sit. 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 The other young one, I'm not riding it yet until my knee's better, so I took the old pensioner. Technically, she's probably 20. Hop in. Good girl. We're just heading out to one of our lease paddocks at the moment, get some cows in. They're a breeder herd that we've got. Usually it's just my wife and I and our working dogs that we rely on. I don't bring the younger dogs, but these cows, are, some of them might come out and want to fight the dog because it's, there's a lot of dingoes around in this country. So they're only just doing their job, the cows. So I wouldn't bring a young pup. I've got Pixie, Coop, Boss, Annie. They're all silent dogs, I don't like barking dogs on the cattle. That's only a personal preference. We can just sneak around, coach a muster, pick up a mob, break them, walk them onto the next mob, and just keep going around in a quiet manner. Pixie. The dogs are just a gift, just seeing them work and play. They don't worry about the world or what's going on around them. You know, all they worry about is their job to do. That is their world. If you build that bond and that respect between the dog and us and a relationship and then you put them on the stock, they thrive to please us as owners. They, that's all they want to do. Their natural instinct is to work stock. With them respecting us and we respect them, yeah, the dog will just give you that little bit extra. Technically, the dogs are working in their own natural position. I'm not actually directing them or anything like that. Pixie's more a holding dog. 
Coop's probably, he's got a little bit more force up front, a bit more direction. Boss, he's a lead dog and he's more a tail. Wing sort of dog, works in behind, keeps them coming. Good boy, Coop. Pixie come. Pixie come. Good gal. Good gal. Coopy Coburg. Coopy Coopy Coo. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Good boy. Good dogs. Always been around animals. Um, it's. I suppose it's part of who we are, really. And take that away from us, it's, you know, it'd be pretty empty, a pretty empty life. Yeah, it's pretty special. It's a very special bond that you can build with a working dog and longer they're in your pack, stronger your bond and connection becomes between you and the dog. And they're good for these little kiddos. The loyalty, 